Hi everybody and good morning and welcome to the Scott Show Wake Up Call. 8 o'clock every single morning here at the thescottshow.com. <clears throat> we are here um, live. It is the 8th of January today. Um, really excited it's the 8th of January for some reason. It's going to be a great week. we got a really awesome TCW Fantasy Wrestling Show coming up this week. Um, because it is a special birthday for a special child, and we might as well, uh, be talking about it early. Uh, it is my son Andrew's 16th birthday coming up on the 11th, so happy birthday to Andrew. Have a great week. Alright, so we're gonna, uh, first of all, we're gonna go to checkiday.com. Uh, we are going to give you guys what day it is today. What holidays you can observe today. It's Argyle Day, it's Bubble Bath Day, it's Earth Rotations Day, it's National Clean Off Your Desk Day, it's National English Toffee Day, National Joy Germ Day, National Man Watchers Day, Show and Tell Day at Work, War on Poverty Day, and World Typing Day. Uh, World on Poverty Day is awesome because it is also one of the first days we're going to be doing um, a bigger 10, 25, 50 show. Um, and I'm pretty excited about that. You guys might notice that we didn't have one yesterday uh, because of the fact that we're doing a lot of them uh, now. So there you go. And we are we are kind of messing around with our uh, programming schedule here at the Scott Show. Uh, so be prepared for some big changes coming up to that um, very, very, very soon. All right, so we go to our thumbs up and our thumbs down. Um, I would love to have a sponsor for this. Um, so if anyone is interested in sponsoring the thumbs up and thumbs down, it's brought to you by blah, blah, blah. Um, that would be awesome. So we're always looking for uh, more insight to the show and people were like, hey, you know, that would be cool. So, there you go. Alright, first thumbs up of the day is about football. And I say that because yesterday we had two games of football for the NFL. It was the playoffs. And you had the Saints and the Panthers, which they are in the same division. The Saints and the Panthers and the Falcons, three, all three teams made it. They're all in the same division. The Saints and the Panthers had to play each other. The winner goes on to Minnesota, and that's going to be the New Orleans Saints. They're going to go to Minnesota now. Minnesota's going to host that game. If Philadelphia, It's Philadelphia and another team. Uh, who? Oh, it's the Falcons. So it's the Falcons and the uh, Eagles in the second game. If the Falcons win, they go to Minnesota if Minnesota wins that game against the Saints. So, therefore, you could have three of your next big NFL football games in Minnesota. That would just be weird and really cool at the same time. Uh, big thumbs down today for people being sick. We have a lot of people uh, who listen to the Scott Show, great friends of the Scott Show, um, who are sick. Uh, I have read uh, some of the Facebook messages and um, posts about people uh, tossing cookies and um, and all this other stuff and just having colds and flus and all this other stuff. Uh, so, thumbs down for being sick. And if you're sick, get better. And uh, I don't want it. Uh, thumbs up for the Golden Globes. I'm going to just give you guys a little highlight um, of the Golden Globes. Like one anyway. Um, Laura Dern won for Best Supporting Actress in a TV Series. Nicole Kidman uh, won for a Best Actress in a TV Movie or Limited Series. Rachel Brosnan won for uh, TV Comedy Musical. Elizabeth Moss, I think she's from the, uh, the Handmaid's Tale. She ended up winning. Uh, actually, I can, I can double check that. Yep, The Handmaid's Tale. And Rachel Brosnan, just to give you guys a little insight, was from The Marvelous Miss Maisel, which ended up winning quite a bit. Uh, this is Me won for The Greatest Showman. 
Coco won Best Animated, <clears throat> which didn't surprise me too much. Um, I, I would have always picked the Minions. Allison Janney won for Best Supporting Actress, as she's in the movie I, Tanya. Gary Oldman won for Actor in the uh, Darkest Hour. Gary Oldman is, like, awesome. Um, just saying. Uh, actor in a comedy, James Franco won for The Disaster Artist. Uh, he's always winning awards. Really cool guy. Frances McDormand won uh, Best best Actress for Three Billboards Outside Ebening, New, uh, Missouri. With, and that also won uh, the motion picture for Best Drama. Um, so there you go, folks. That is uh, That is it. Lots of cool um, awards going out yesterday for the Golden Globes. One of the big uh, things that happened at the Golden Globes yesterday was Oprah did this speech. Um, I did not hear it. Um, I am not an Oprah fan. Um, So if she does run for president, I'm not going to vote for her. Um, I I, I just can't. Just to me, I can't do it. Um, You know, I voted for really amazing women. In the past. Margaret Anderson Kettler for governor. I voted for her. Amy Klobuchar. I continuously vote for her. Amy Klobuchar is amazing. Hillary Clinton. I voted for her before. So I, I, I'm not saying anything bad about women. I'm saying I'm not going to vote for Oprah. I don't want Oprah in the White House. I don't want Trump in the White House. Um, you know, but we got what we got. And seriously, when you're down to two picks, jeez. That's another thing I don't like about, um, politics and this whole thing. When you're down to two picks of people who are spending billions of dollars to, to do all this stuff. It just gets, uh, you know, mind-numbingly annoying is what we, you know, what I like to frame it. Um, and, and that was... That was quite possibly the worst election I think that we ever had. Um, and now I'm going to get a whole bunch of people arguing with me here. So let, let's see what we got going on. No, oh, I don't have anybody arguing with me. I, I like that. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we go to the next thumbs down uh, for Monday. I always get this every single Monday. Um, somebody says, hey, give it a thumbs up. Give Monday a thumbs down. Um, I don't really want to give Monday a thumbs down. I love Mondays. Uh, but some people don't because apparently they, you know, have to work. So, yeah. Thumbs down on Monday. There you go. Uh, thumbs up to politics as I see a lot of people talking about politics. Um, a lot of really cool things going on in the politics world. Um... I want to give a thumbs up to politics. If you get involved in politics, congratulations. You have joined a weird group of people um, who have their own influence and their own quirks. So enjoy learning. Um, And there you go. And thumbs down goes to the Trump book. uh, Just because, seriously folks, why the hell did you buy the Trump book? Why Why did you make it number one? Why do you want to read more about this crap? Um, I don't. And, um, you know, it's just making making some guy money who I don't really give a damn about. And it's saying stupid crap that you can pretty much see on TV anyway. Uh, But apparently it's number one on Amazon.com, sold a whole bunch of copies. I'd like to know... um, Oh, I, I just want to know why, because I just think it's dumb. Um, even if it's a sensational lie, like the White House is saying, still, why do you want to know more about what's going on in a White House? Oh. Okay, thumbs up today to Mike, to Matt, to Jennifer, to Andrea, to Nikki, to Ashley, to Rachel, to Rob, and to Ron. Uh, I'll sh- all shout outs to you guys, and that's awesome. A few quick mentions before we go here on the show today. Korea is talking, um, so we'll find out what happens. If I was a betting man, 
I'm gonna just go out on a limb here because I, you know, I watch movies and, you know, action movies happen. Uh, North Korea and South Korea are gonna agree, uh, to send a North Korea delegation to the Olympics. Um, they send this delegation to the Olympics and for however it works, one of them ends up dead and then the Americans get blamed for it and Kim Jong-un... Apparently it's his birthday, by the way, so happy birthday, Kim. You're an idiot. Um, <clears throat> but happy birthday anyway. Blow out your cake and don't blow up crap. Including your own people. Apparently you, lo- you, launched, you launched a bomb or a missile and blew up your own city. Of only 200,000 people. You know, collateral damage. What's going to happen is they're going to... One of the North Korea guys is going to die. Um, however it works. There's going to be this huge uh, investigation. They're going to blame America. And World War Three is going to start right there. Right after the Olympics or during the Olympics. That is my call. <clears throat> if you were a writer of Hollywood crap, that would be your right right there. That would be how you would write the, the theme song. Is... You know, they they are being uh, smarter than the average bear or whatever. And it's just stupid. So, I just wanted to bring that to you guys. I thought that was a little interesting insight I had on that today. Uh, tonight, Alabama, Georgia. I say football for thumbs up. Alabama, Georgia are playing tonight uh, in the national championship game. But apparently in Central Florida, <coughs> UCF is already... <coughs> Champions of the of the Galaxy. Uh, TCW show, check that out. Uh, from the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, great stuff there. And for NFL picks, I went 3-1. Um, we we're not going to do uh, huge NFL pick shows anymore. So 3-1 in the NFL today. And the state pick is Maine. So I'm going to get going here on the show. Uh, I want to thank you all for everything that you do. And we're going to have a great time here on the Scott Show.com. Check us out every morning at 8 a.m.